With iPad OS being so close, a lot of people have questions about the older model iPads. This is the 10.5 Pro. You have your home button right here. We, it's 10.5, trust me. This is the first 10.5 Pro to ever hit the market. I'm running the iPad OS beta, and I have two devices here that we're gonna check out. What's going on, it's Average Tech Guy, and today we're going to show you how to connect your Magic Trackpad 2 and your Magic Mouse 2 to your iPad 10.5 running iPad OS. Let's knock it out. So a lot of people are thinking that with the addition of iPad OS, it's going to be as simple as turn my Bluetooth on, open it up, connect my mouse, and that's it. Well, I'm going to show you that it's not really that simple. There are a couple of extra steps that you're going to have to take, and I'm going to list them below so you guys can do the same for yourself when you get iPad OS. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is that the mouse right here is not on. It's not in the on position. It's in the off position. And the magic trackpad is also in the off position. So we got that established. What I'm going to do now is go into my settings. I'm gonna open up Bluetooth, which is already right here. Bluetooth is always continuously searching. And since it's searching, I wanna go ahead and turn on my Bluetooth devices. So I'm gonna take my Magic Mouse 2, turn it to the on position. And you see nothing is, it's blurry back here, but nothing is happening. Nothing's going on. I'm gonna take my Magic Trackpad 2. And do the same exact thing. I turn it to the on position and nothing is going on back here. So it's not as simple as just connecting this. You have to go a step further. So forget Bluetooth right now. We're just gonna scroll down until we see accessibility. Right there, we're gonna click on accessibility and from there, we're gonna hit switch control. When we hit switch control, now we're going to go to switches. When you get to switches, you're gonna look for Bluetooth devices. Inside Bluetooth devices, all of our Bluetooth devices now pop up. So I wanna connect my Magic Mouse 2. So we got the Magic Mouse 2 connected. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that off. So we're gonna actually come out, go back into Bluetooth devices, Tap on Magic Trackpad, and there we have it. Now it's connected. Now another thing that you need to actually have enabled is going to be your touch control. So you're gonna to go to touch, assisted touch, and mine was already on because I've been using mouse support already with different types. So you got assisted touch, make sure that it is on. So with your Magic Trackpad, you can now take your finger, go around. Only bad thing about Magic Trackpad is Magic Trackpad has no options. You can't do a right click, left click, nothing really works except for a click. And once you click, 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 you can't go home from here or do anything else. So your Magic Trackpad 2 is basically kind of useless at this point. There are no gestures, no scrolling gestures, this one is definitely not worth getting right now. I'm sure Apple's gonna come out with some support in the future, but for right now, we're gonna throw this one to the side. We're not gonna worry about it so much. We're gonna focus on, I'm gonna turn this off, and we're gonna focus on the Magic Mouse 2. So Magic Mouse 2, I'm turning this back on, and it should just automatically connect. There we go, we got it on the screen. Now, the cool thing about Magic Mouse 2 is you get a right click and a left click. A right click is gonna bring up this menu right here and it allows you to go back home, but you still do not have any scrolling gestures. So you're missing the scrolling gesture over here, but you do get the feature where you click this, you can go back home, and you don't have to touch your screen. Now, if you get a keyboard and a mouse, you're good to go. If you wanna scroll, you just hold down and pull over. Same thing with your within your system settings. You hold down and go up and down. So if you're not thrown off too much about holding that button down and then scrolling, have at it. It's gonna be a great device for you to have for this iPad Pro 10.5. Guys, remember, Magic Mouse 2 
is a go. It's going to work. It is limited, but hopefully in the future, we will get more features. But Magic Trackpad is extremely limited, and you can only click and point. There is nothing else you, you can... There's really nothing else you can do with this. So it's not going to be a help to you right now as as we look at iPad OS coming out. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.